In this video, we study about the third type of function called as onto function. We have already covered two types of functions and so I have put tick mark over there that is one one function and many one function. In case you want to see what these functions are, you can watch the previous videos. In this video, we are going to cover onto function. Let's see what onto function actually is. If each element of B has its pre-image in A, I underline important things, each element has pre-image, then the function is onto. We already know by our previous knowledge what is image, what is pre-image. So directly, let's get going to the examples and understand the same. Actually, it is very important to see the significance of the word each because every element of B must have its pre-image in A. Let's see an example and understand what is onto and what is not. Let we have two sets A and B and there are different elements in the sets such as 1, 2, 3, 4 in set A, A, B, C, D in set B and some relationship is given as 1 is related to A, 2 is related to C, 3 is related to D and 4 is related to B. Now look at the codomain, look at the second set. The second set has four elements A, B, C, D and they are always associated with something or the other. That is A has its pre-image as 1, B has its pre-image as 4, C has its pre-image as 2, D has its pre-image as 3. In other words, you can be writing F inverse A, F inverse B, F inverse C and F inverse D. What is F inverse A? It means what is the pre-image of A? Pre-image of A is 1. What is the pre-image of B? Pre-image of B is 4. What is the pre-image of C? C is associated with 2. So pre-image of C is 2. What is pre-image of D? D is associated with 3. So it is 3. That means all the elements of the second set A, B, C, D have one or the other pre-images. Nothing is left blank. So it is an example of onto function. This is the first example wherein I know that this is an onto function. But in some cases you wouldn't have an onto function. What will be those cases where we do not have an onto function? Let's see one example for that as well. Another example, again we have two sets and the arrow mapping is given. The mapping is from a function f from a to b, here also from a set a to b, the mapping is denoted as f. Now again if there are some elements, say 1, 2, 3, 4 and here in the second set also we have some elements as p, q, r, s. And the mapping is given in such a manner that 1 and 2 have the same image as P which is possible. Again it is a, still a function if all the elements of the domain are covered. If 3 has its image as Q, 4 has the image as R. Now we have to check whether this is on 2 or not. Let's again get going with the inverse strategy. F inverse P, F inverse Q, F inverse R and F inverse S. What is the pre-image of P? P has both the pre-images 1 and 2. What is the pre-image of Q? Q has it as 3. What is the pre-image of R? R has it as 4. What is the pre-image of S? S isn't associated with any of the elements of the first set. So it does not exist. Since we have at least one element in second set which does not have any pre-image. So this 
example is not an example of onto so it is not onto function let's read out the definition once again it said that every element or each element should have a pre image but here s does not have a pre image so it is not onto whereas in this example every element out of a b c d had one or the other pre images so in the next video we'll be covering another type which is one one onto function